Hello everybody out there in YouTube land. Good times for all, or Zachary Zabala here if you prefer. I just came across this set of encyclopedias that belong to a very nice old lady I know. An older lady, I should say. And, um, she said I can have them pretty much. So, I am going to be using these to show what is on the internet now and what we believed we knew back in 1980. I believe that's when this book was published or written. That one was actually made. It's the 15th edition, the new book of knowledge. There are also books along with this. I don't know if they came in afterwards every year, but they go up to 2002. So it could actually be something to do with that. I'm, I'm not sure. Here's the uh, Library of Congress catalog card number, copyright 1980. And I can't find anything higher than 1980 on this book. So I'm assuming that that is the year that it was made. Just an assumption, though. Um, I'm in the, the P section. It has one for each letter. Some are, you know, two letters per, depending on which letters they are. And it really gets in depth about just the letter itself. It gets into the Greek and Hebrew, where they put it in their alphabet, tells how it was changed from the Ro Greeks to the Romans, and then how Western Europeans changed it after the Romans had conquered them. Um, yeah, it's pretty neat. Very neat book set of books really and I, the part I wanted to show you in the P1 is about perspective you hear a lot of people saying now oh, perspective is not scientific it has to do only with art the laws of perspective only pertain to art and we're going to take a look and see what this book has to say about it Oh, pretty neat book. Color pictures. All kinds of neat stuff. There you go, perspective. The science of creating on a flat surface the appearance of depth. The science. Some ancient people tried to capture appearance of the depths in their buildings, but nothing was known until the 15th century. Italian architect sculptor named Filippo Brunelleschi. Sorry if I um, massacred that name. A set of rules he taught to other Renaissance artists have since been expanded they are still the basis of the science of perspective again the science it is called perspective is called a science because there is, is a specific body of rules for its use the rule separates per perspective into two types linear and aerial see there are certain laws that have to do with our eyesight. It goes on here, vision and perspective. Let's see if we can't get this to focus in. Perspective is based on human vision. Our eyes have certain limitations. They can see only certain distance ahead and much less to either side. Much of the time our vision is blocked by a wall, a building, or something or some other solid object. But if we go to the beach and look straight out at the ocean, we have the rare chance to see as far and wide as is humanly possible. On a very wet day, the ocean and the sky seem to blend into bluish mist in the distance. 
To imitate this effect, the artist blah 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 would use aerial. Okay. The line called a horizon is a point where our vision ends. It does not mean that it goes over a curve there. It just means that your eyes can see so far and that is where your vision will end. If you were watching two parallel rows of battleships sailing over the horizon, we would notice that the rows seem to sail closer to each other in this distance, in the distance. Imitating this illusion in a picture requires the use of linear perspective. The horizon is at eye level. Do you see that? The horizon is at eye level. It doesn't say once you get to a certain height, the horizon goes below you. It says the horizon is at eye level. The exact point on the horizon where parallel lines seem to meet is called the vanishing point. The linear perspective is based on the fact that receding parallel lines, if continued indefinitely, appear to meet at a vanishing point on the horizon. And then it goes on about two point and three point perspective. Shows you some drawing definitions. But there are certain laws that are that everything has to follow. You know, these this right here, you can't move this down here and it'd be the same size as this block in reality and it looked the same size as this block does that cannot happen there are certain laws that's why they call it the laws of perspective that's how we know how big things are distances and yada 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 and if you know how far away something is and you have one object here you can tell how tall that object is down here there are ways of doing this stuff. There are laws to it all. And that's all I wanted to put out there. Just that perspective is the science of creating on a flat surface the appearance of depth. Because there are a specific body of rules for its use. human it's all based off of the human vision because our eyes have certain limitations okay so when you go to wikipedia i mean they used to have all kinds of stuff on wikipedia a year and a half ago when i started looking into all this flat earth stuff and it talked about plain flat plane perspective and all kinds of different stuff and now you go there and all it says is that it has nothing to do with science and it's just an artist concept so they're changing the information as, as, as we go on here. It's probably as as I'm speaking, they're changing certain information. I mean, I've showed this already in previous videos where they're hiding. And look at this. I bet they don't have very much about Nikola Tesla in here at all. They talk about these people being scientists. Nah, I don't know. Does it have Nikola Tesla in here? Nuclear energy, radiant energy, conservation of matter energy. Chemical energy, magnetic energy, magnetic field force. Does it have anything about Nikola Tesla in here? William Gilbert, I see. Electrical field of force. I mean, electrical energy. It's, let's see. It should be definitely in. He should be in here. Charles Dufay. Benjamin Franklin, of course he's going to be in there. He's in the club. Let's see. It's 
So they talk about electric energy, electrical energy here. And now one mention of Nikola Tesla. They didn't even talk about Thomas Edison, which just blows my mind. But yeah, I'm going to be, I was thinking about reading these books. Properties of matter. We'll, we'll look in, I'm going to go a little bit longer on this video, I guess. And we'll see if we can't find um, energy. Henry Becquerel, J.J. Thompson, Matter and Molecules, The Scientific Revolution, Physics, Dmitry Ivanovich Menendelev, Leave. No, no mention of Nikola Tesla in the whole physics part. Is that all of it? Yes, piano, physics and other scientists. So yeah, I'm going to be looking into how things have changed over the last 30 odd years or so with these books. So I hope you all enjoyed that little tidbit of information on how we used to call perspective an actual science, but now they don't say it. it's not scientific. It all has to do with art and art alone. Just something I wanted to share with y'all. Good times for all here. Signing out. Thanks for watching.